Hey guys, I had a few minutes. I wanted to talk to you just real quick about why therapy or going to see a professional therapist or counselor is crucial and vital to your health. I've been in a season where I've been going to therapy myself. I went off and on uh, a little bit before my third child and my husband also did the same. Um, he went before we had some family in town visiting us and we've switched a bit off and on over the past, I'd say two years now. Both of us have just found such a importance in it as far as a part of our self-care, our regular self-care. Therapy, in my opinion, used to be kind of this taboo thing that was not as accepted socially and a little bit, you know, shamed. Oh, you're in therapy. Oh, really? Something must be wrong. Something, you know, I think a lot of people had that view of therapy. And I think now therapy is becoming something that people are embracing and they're seeing that it's not a bad thing. First of all, as long as you have an open, teachable mind and teachable spirit, anything is truly possible. Like I've learned that in my own journey is that you don't have to know it all. You don't have to be somebody that has attained it all, achieved it all, you know it all. I mean, once you kind of throw that out and you realize, wow, I'm actually a better person when I um, admit and I come to the end of myself and realize that I actually need other people, I don't know it all, and other people are there to help sharpen me and strengthen me, and it's not a weakness if I admit that I'm not perfect, right? So that that for me has been the first thing that I had to come to terms with that, um, and I think across the board, this is what's happening with therapy, is people are seeing that therapy is actually a good thing because we don't have to have it all together is that it's very important to talk about things it's important to have somebody um, that's a safe space that's a healthy um, plumb line slash you know somebody that can help you just to have a radar of things that are healthy or not healthy or just somebody to talk to it's good to have somebody to talk to that's my first point just a place that you can go to and get things out, talk about them, nothing's shameful, nothing's off limits. Trauma literally stores in your body. Scientists are proving that. There's an excellent book called The Body Keeps Score. It's actually an audio book on YouTube. There's literal scientific research that proves that trauma, any trauma, traumatic event, um, stores in your body and it affects your health because your body continuously, if it's stored in your body, will read it as the fact that it's a present event, meaning that if you had something traumatic happen to you and you have not processed it or gotten it out, released it, talked about it, um, scientists are also proving that when you talk about things, it moves in your brain, it moves out. And so until you do that, it stores in your body and your body is reading it as a present traumatic event. And so your body's reacting to it in that way and it's in fight mode instead of being in a, a mode of rest. And so your body's constantly in that state of fighting instead of um, you know, being able to just rest and fight disease. It's fighting that traumatic event and being in a place of defense super important for your body's sake to process trauma. Get it out of your body, process it, um, release it, move it out of your brain, move it out of your body. It, it is true, it's happened in our lives, we've seen the fruit of it, especially when you have increased capacity happening in your life, whether it's a new child, a new job, a change of events, um, a huge transition, like a life, a life change, you know, you're in midlife crisis, whatever it is, processing trauma will help you or just processing, um, you know, stress or, or anything that you want to talk about with a therapist, processing those things will make room for more capacity in your life for other things. I promise you, we have seen the fruit of that in our own lives. Third, it's just good to have an outside perspective. Your subconscious mind forms by the age of seven. And so if you think about that, how you were raised forms your thought patterns, your belief systems. And so some of those aren't necessarily healthy and we need somebody else to help us see outside of ourselves and say, um, wait a minute, that's not healthy, that's not normal. Have you thought about this instead? 
And the more that you see somebody and the more somebody can get to know you and see how you think and how you process, they can help you have an outside perspective and refine you in that way. So I highly recommend therapy. Um, if you don't know who to go see, ask a friend, ask somebody if they know somebody. That's how we've typically found people in our lives that have helped us, um, professionals. We've asked around, we've asked friends, people that we trust, and we ask for referrals. And again, that that is um, once you've come to a place of admitting and being okay with the fact that you need help. And it's good. It's a good thing. It Needing help will strengthen you. Um, not needing help and not wanting to admit that you need help when you do will actually weaken you. And we're not meant to do life alone. We're not meant to carry the load on our own. We're not meant to have it all together. It's okay. That's a part of what bonds us as human beings is by admitting our weakness and needing others. So just challenge you there. If you're in a place where you feel like you need therapy or you're in a place that you're stuck or you're having repeated thoughts that are not not healthy, not positive, I encourage you to reach out for help, go see a professional, um, put yourself out there, admit the need, and watch what happens because you will be pleasantly surprised. Have a great day, guys.